Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and you with your finger up your nose, please be seated for the presentation. In a land far, far away, was a great kingdom ruled by the king and the beautiful princess. However, the kingdom was under siege from a small pest problem in the form of a terrifying, fire-breathing dragon who was eating all the livestock in the land. <laughs> people suffer any more, and sent word to the four corners of the kingdom, for the princess's hand in marriage to the brave soul who would slay the dragon. George has done it. He has slain the mighty dragon, and now rode off into the distance to claim his prize, the hand of the prince. The kingdom was at peace, and a mighty wedding was to be planned, and there was much rejoicing. Yay!
Hang on, hang on a minute. St. George here. Haven't quite finished. Just been looking at this scout promise of yours. On my honour, like that, lots of honour, I promised that I would do my best. Pfft, us knights always do our best. Do my duty to God, of course. And to the Queen? Well, we haven't got a Queen at the moment. We've got a King. To help other people. Yeah, as always. And to keep the Scout law. Well, we don't have any Scouts at the moment, but we do have a Knight's Code. Also, been looking at that Scout law of yours. Very similar to the Knight's Code. Let's just have a look at that then. A Scout is to be trusted. Well, if you can't trust a Knight, who can you trust? A Scout has to be loyal as a knight has to be loyal to his king. A scout is to be friendly and considerate. Knights are always looking out for their fellow men. A scout belongs to the worldwide family of scouts. All knights are related by brotherhood. A scout has courage in all difficulties. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've just seen me do battle with that dragon. A scout makes good use of time and is careful with possessions and property. These swords and shields don't come cheap, you know. A scout has self-respect and respect for others. Mm, that one's very good. Mustache having a barbecue. Dragon burgers. Bye! In a land called Hanali, little Jackie Paper loved that rascal pup and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Oh, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. In a land called Hanali Together they would travel On a boat with billowed sail Jackie kept a lookout Perched on Puff's gigantic tail Noble kings and princes Would bow whenever they came Pirate ships would lower their flags When Puff roared out his name Roar. His head was bent
by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Of the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called. 